What's going on everyone? My name is Muffles the Gang. Welcome to my tutorial on how to fix crashes in Daisy Standalone. Now before we actually get into the main fix, one thing you must make sure is that if you have a graphics card and it's overclocked, that you reset everything to its factory default. For some overclock may be unstable, and that could be your main reason as to why it's crashing all the time. But the main fix is this, you want to come to this PC, go to manage, and then go to disk management. You then want to find the disk or drive where you have DayZ installed, for instance mine's disk number zero, and then you want to come up over here to properties. Once you're in properties you want to click on disk cleanup. Now what this is, this is a defragmentation of your drive, so it gets rid of all the loose crap and uh, floating, floating stuff around that will interrupt the process of your game being loaded or not. So once you do this, and then once your game is defragged, or sorry, your system is defragged, you should not receive any more crashes. Now this can take some time. This can take a very long time actually. For instance, this can take me up to an hour. See, system area memory dump file, so it gets rid of all that sort of stuff. And then once this is done, you won't see any more crashes in Daisy Standalone. If that doesn't work, there is one thing you have to do. You have to go to DayZ, go to where it's installed, and you want to delete local content. Once done that, you have to reinstall the game. That will fix it if all else has failed. <laughs> However, if all of this doesn't work, you need a new hard drive, because your hard drive is failing. Thank you for watching my video on how to fix the bug crashes in DayZ Standalone. If you liked it, don't forget to like it and subscribe for more MTG TV action. But uh, how do you like my background? It's pretty cool, I took this screenshot just the other day. <laughs> anyway, my name is Muffles the Gang. <laughs> and amount. out.